Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about the ultimate team of the season content that came out on Monday in FIFA, the upgrade packs, and just kind of talk about the aura of this game, talk about the market as well, but just this, you know, people started realizing today, and not really realizing, but just talking about it, and kind of thinking things through as we're at the end and out and out of team of the season, that a lot of this Tots content has been subpar to what has been happening in the years past during team of the season. So we'll talk a little bit about that today. Maybe some dead ultimate tots, maybe is what you could call this. And maybe a lackluster team of the season promo uh, in general is what we'll kind of cover today. And also talking about the market because some stuff actually went up today because with upgrade packs being a bit expensive and just kind of, you know, a bit, you know, just too much. People don't want to pay this much for an 82 or an 83 plus double upgrade. Um, at least for these upgrade packs, we'll see what happens on Thursday, but a lot of the market actually rose today because people saw the content. They were like, I don't want to mess with this. And they just went out and bought cards instead, bought cards for their team. Uh, so we did see some price ri prices rise today. I want to talk about that in this video as well, but talking about these three SBCs, these are the SBCs that came out today on foot. You know, it's Monday, right? We were expecting some upgrades regardless. Uh, and they dropped three of them. Now, the 82 to 88 uh, was one that I mentioned earlier this week that could possibly be coming. That one is the best value SBC in my opinion. Although, basically, it's not an 82 to 88 upgrade. It's like an 82 to 84 upgrade because the, the possibility and the chances that you get an 86 rated plus card from that SBC is so slim. It's, it's ridiculous. It's not worth it. Uh, the 82 plus double upgrade is the one that really... Uh, you know, kind of disappointed people today because I tweeted this out today at 6 p.m. as well when I saw the content release. This requires an 82 over all squad with 45 chemistry. This exact same pack, uh, specified to 82 plus double upgrade for La Liga players only. So technically a better pack if you're trying to pack blue cards. There was a much higher chance of packing a blue from an 82 plus double La Liga upgrade. That SBC, which was, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago that SBC was out? That SBC only required 11 rare gold La Liga players. This SBC costs an 82 rated squad. Is there a price difference? Yes, there's a bit of a price difference. This squad right now is around 20,000 coins to complete. You have to drop 20k to get yourself a chance at an upgraded uh, Array Tots blue player. That's what people wanted to do this week was they wanted a chance at a team of the season so far card that they could pack through upgrade SBCs. And the way that EA dropped the upgrades today is just, you know, you do, you did give us the 83 plus double, you know, 83 chemistry or 60 chemistry and an 83 rated squad for this. It's just, it's not really grindable. It's not craftable for one. You basically just have to go out and buy the players. And the biggest problem that a lot of people and I myself have with this is it is June, okay? It is June. Can we please, EA Sports, get content that is, you know, can you just be like nice to us for once and, and make something easy and let us have some fun? Uh, you didn't let us have fun with the the premium upgrade packs only available for 24 hours, which is what we've been asking for. Weeks before, I made multiple tweets at EA. We talked about it in videos. Tons of people were talking about it on Twitter. That premium upgrade SBC, we wanted that all week and, and you only gave us to it for gave that to us for 24 hours. Now, you did give us other upgrades, but they were way more expensive, drained more coins off the market. And now we're ending the last week of Team of the Season, which is supposed to be like the culmination of TOTS when they release all of the best cards back into packs. And these are the upgrades that we get. That is just the problem that we had today is just it seems like and, you know, this is nothing new, but it just stings a little harder right now because it's kind of a hype time on FIFA where we were thought we were going to have some fun. EA's like, nope, that's not happening. So... Uh, as a result of that, a lot of people aren't doing these upgrades. Some people are. The, 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 um, the absolute pack addicts, the upgrade SBC addicts are doing some of these packs. Now, I think about all of you guys that went out and bought rare golds. I had a lot of people in my YouTube comments come to me and say, yo, man, I bought 500k worth uh, or I went unassigned this many cards on rare golds for upgrade SBCs today. And some of those guys that you probably went unassigned on, I don't even think they would have moved at all, to be honest. I mean, some of these guys that you probably bought, or I even said uh, to club stocks on these guys, which is not a bad shout still, uh, since you might need some of them for 
uh, some stuff down the line. Maybe the SBCs on Thursday. Some of these other rare golds will go back up if they release the league upgrades. Um, but like, if you bought a bunch of this guy today, you know, or you, you went on a sign on some league on rares because you thought you were gonna get a chance at maybe getting the league on player pick back, or for whatever reason you just went, you know, you just bought some rares. Uh, you kind of got screwed today because basically, if it's below 80 rated, uh, it's it, it doesn't matter. It really does not matter. And, and a lot of these 82s uh, are now upwards of like 1.6, 1.7 K. Zapata is actually a cheap one. Uh, but some of these guys, as you can tell, are inflated in price. I saw some of the goalkeepers today. Arnautovic is like 13, 1400 coins. Uh, Jarstein right off the bat, an 83 rated. I'm pretty sure this guy was like 4K at one point earlier today. It looks like he's dropped down since then, but I think this guy uh, boomed up to like three or four K right away. Same with Hideki. Uh, it's just a lot of these 82s, 83s got bought up right away as so people were going to do these SBCs. And that's also uh, the biggest problem that I have with this. I know we love upgrade SBCs as a FIFA community, but when EA puts out an SBC that is too expensive or a lot of our liking, but it still gets repeated over and over and tons and tons of people do these SBCs just because it's the only thing there. They can't contain themselves and they don't understand the concept of, of good value. They only see the extreme upside and saying, man, I can get possibly a team of the season card in this pack. I have to turn in an 82 raid squad. I don't care. I'll do what it takes because this is what is cool. This is what people have been doing and I want to do it too. Well, you got to kind of think about it from the, a worth, you know, a worth standpoint. Is it worth it for me to do this? Do my coins support this decision? And uh, I know it's the end of the year, so you can waste some coins. That's fine. You've been trading all year. You've been working it up to get these coins, to build your team, to buy your squad, uh, or to you know have fun with SBCs and upgrade packs. But again, I just feel like we got hard done by EA Sports today because of the requirements for those SBCs, which is really making people talk about the lack of fun that they had this year during Team of the Season. And that's what prompted me kind of taking this video this way today again i know this is team of the season so far so i hope that didn't have anything regards to ea like since it's only team of the season so far we're only gonna go so far with the content i hope that was not their thought um but again tots this year uh th you know we could talk about we could like do a rate the promo which i haven't done one of those videos in forever i need to do that but we could if we did like a rate the promo of team of the season and how i i thought team of the season went this is the biggest L, in my opinion, with the, the upgrade packs that we already talked about, 24 hours. Uh, the cards have been good. The, the cards have been solid, I think. They've boosted them well. The card design is cool. Uh, but the SBCs, if, if we want to talk about the biggest W of Team of the Season really fast, the biggest W has been the SBC content. The player SBCs have been on point. They've been well-priced. Shout out Foot Economist, because Foot Economist is the one who prices a lot of these SBCs. At least that's what he told us last year. So if he is still pricing these, uh, team of the season foot economists, I'll give you like an eight and a half out of 10, honestly. Uh, for a lot of these, like Mertens is not bad. Danny Ings is not bad. And all the other SBCs, Allen, uh, you know, Militao, all the flashbacks and the player moments and the tots moments even that we've gotten, some of them have been too expensive, right? Some of them have been overpriced. But I give them an 8.5 out of 10, almost a nine out of 10 because a lot of the SBCs, have been good value for team of the season not a lot of them have been overpriced so that's just kind of how i'm feeling right now and a lot of people are just talking about how they feel about team of the season um and how it's been uh put out in the content by ea sports but i do also want to talk about this market a little bit because i know a lot of you guys are very interested in wanting to buy some cards for your teams and stuff like that if you remember yesterday's market outlook video i looked at serge nabry on the market as a tots card he was like 240 240 230,000 coins a lot of these desirable team of the season cards rose up today because people saw the content they didn't want to get involved with it and what happened was they just went out and they bought some players now some cards are still kind of down right like if we take a look at ultimate team of the season cards most of these guys are still chilling right Yetter's 4.6. Neymar's up about 100,000 coins. That could swing down at any point, back down to like 5.2. Levo's up a little. Mbappe's up a smidge. Ronaldo's up a little. Mane's down. De Bruyne is down. Uh, Sancho is up a little. So, you know, on these cards, I would still be chilling. If you want to buy an Ultimate Tots, I think I would still wait around until, you know, possibly a little bit of more content comes out 
today on Tuesday or maybe on Wednesday. I don't know what they're going to do today for Tuesday because this is when they usually upgrade the uh, League SBC players. But I don't know if they're going to do that for any of the rest of the world. Uh, Tots cards that came out today as well. We can take a quick peek at these. Uh, of course, with the secondary leagues, EA has been juicing the stats of these guys. They did not disappoint here as well. Or with these cards, David looks pretty dope. Sazinha looks pretty dope. Leibold looks pretty dope. Orsic, of course, with the Tots. Ed Edward looks pretty, pretty decent. But they did kind of add in some trolls, right? They kind of added in some trolls here. A striker, Frenchman. Imagine seeing French striker and it's this guy instead of Mbappe or Ben Yedder. That would suck uh, as a pack troll. And then, of course, you have another Brazilian troll with this Sazinha. You might think you're getting Neymar when, of course, you're getting this guy. But he's still not a bad card. So this is uh, rest of the world tots. Okay. Um, but that's not really here what we're here to talk about. If you want to look at some of the MLS cards, I think some of these rose a little bit out of packs today as well with squad battle rewards being maybe the low point for a guy like Josef Martinez looks like he was 215 213,000 coins uh, on the PlayStation and uh maybe about 220 on the Xbox and he rose to 260 on the Xbox and to 250 on the PlayStation today so some of the stuff did start to rise out of packs for the MLS and probably the the Latin America tots as well but again you can start to look through the, like the Bundesliga right um, I know, again, I was using this Nabry card as an example. Let's take a look at the price once again. Uh, this guy, Sunday night during Squad Battle Rewards and like all day on Sunday, he was dropping. Look at this, 230, 240, 230, 240,000 coins late Sunday night into, into uh, Monday morning. Hit 230 again before then going all the way up to 270, kind of back down to 230, 240, and now he's back up to 270 again. So you're starting to see the, the desirable, the favorite tots cards that people are going to start to buy for their teams are rebounding already this de young card was 520,000 coins last night on the youtube video because of the um modric panic sell-off he's already bounced back to 570 yes you heard me correct check this out uh from sunday 505 he went back to 520 he was like 520k all this morning went to 517 even and then has now gone to 560 570 uh, since, you know, we got into the daytime on Monday. And that's happened with a lot of these cards. If you go and check out these Tots cards is they've kind of rebounded um, just because I think people went out today and they started buying cards for their teams because um, there was really nothing else to do on foot. So if you haven't bought your cards yet, if you did buy your cards, you saw a low point, you took action, GG's to you. If you haven't bought any cards yet um, and, and there's some cards that you're still interested in going out and buying, I would have to say um, you probably want to start looking into some of those things really, really soon. I honestly do think you want to look into those soon. We haven't got big time content on Tuesdays for the past few days. Again, Wednesday is a big time day for foot with the guaranteed SBC. If for some reason they make it really cheap, then maybe you'll see. Uh, actually, if they made it a little bit more expensive, you might see people having to go sell cards to do the guaranteed Ultimate Tots SBC. But I expect that SBC to be 88 89 rated in its form uh and then you know people would be selling some cards on the market it might be similar to the premier league sbc where people are still kind of broke in this game there's still people that don't have a lot of coins and this ultimate tots sbc and the upgrades this week are kind of their last chance to get a big time card during team of the season and then they're probably going to call it quits so um, maybe watch for some panic selling on leading into Wednesday and then on Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK. We'll talk about this a little bit more in tomorrow's video um, on Tuesday headed into Wednesday. But you might see some more panic selling on some of these cards as people uh, go out and try to get some coins to raise funds so they can do that SBC. Now, we didn't get any tradable pack supply today, so I don't believe that the uh, that SBC fodder went down. And especially since the 83 guaranteed the 83 rated double guaranteed SBC came out and the 82 double 83s are high two and a half K 3000 coins for most of those that pushed 84s up as well. 85s are still chilling. 86s are getting low again. Uh, 87s are chilling as well. So 86s, 87s, I'm still kind of liking for the guaranteed SBC. If you want to put your coins into something, that could be something that you do. And honestly, we're at a point in FIFA right now too, where if you just want to trade with these cards, you can absolutely fluctuation trade. 
with some of these tots cards again like this nabry did today uh he went down to 230 went back up to 260 and then he hit 246 at one point again so he, right now he's back to 270 as well so if he fluctuates 240 to 270 that's a 30,000 coin fluctuation and if you sell at 270 280 uh then you're gonna have like what 14,000 coins of tax ish not quite uh 15k of tax so uh you could make it solid 10 to 15k per card if you find some fluctuations in there on a card like this maybe a guy like de young he drops back down to like you know uh 530 at some point you find some undercuts you know he's going to go back to 570 so you can absolutely fluctuation trade with these cards um and start to look for some bias for thursday flips as well we'll talk a little bit more about that in tomorrow's video too uh rashford was 290 today 290 he's up to 330 basically so yeah these cards definitely did start to rise uh will they come back down there's probably going to be a point where they come back down a little bit not a huge type of crash or anything like that the only thing that's going to cause a crash in this kind of market is going to be either a icon or some sort of massive repeatable SBC that EA would have to drop for us to see something uh, really make a turn downwards on the market and really, really crash. It would have to be a repeatable SBC that requires high rateds. Um, could they release another good value SBC during the week this week? It's possible. Uh, but since we've we got this Undav today, this isn't honestly that bad of a card. The work rate's not the best, but the five-star weak foot, people love that in this game. He's uh, German. He's got 99 strength. He's got really good agility and balance. This is an interesting-looking card, right? He's 5'10 with a five-star weak foot. He's got 99 strength, 92 aggression, but he's got the 97 agility and 99 balance. Composure's a bit low, but no traits as well. Rip. Uh, but still, I think some people might have crafted this card or they might attempt to craft it maybe with the upgrade SBCs that come out on Thursday. So again, a lot of people I think just saw the game today and they were just bummed out. They weren't super duper happy with what they saw content wise. Um, and uh, yeah, th I think that just kind of turned some people away from the game today, but it also led some people to go out and buy cards for their teams. Icons are up as well. This Essien card Sunday night was 970,000 coins. He's back up to like 1.08 mil. At the moment, he went on bid for 1.05 today. Again, Sun last night was like 840, 830. I think he's still under 900,000 coins. Um, but actually, he's, he's kind of lower, low-ish right now, 860. Sancho is still in packs. He was like 570 Sunday night. I think now he's 600,000 coins. And one thing that you're going you're gonna to notice as these cards uh, go out of packs and as we get past this week and into the next few weeks, Team of the Seasons are going to get a lot more rare, especially the ones that are OP that people like to use. They're going to get rare because people just start turning off the game. Unless EA puts out some content that makes us want to play the game, people are going to just sit with their clubs and ultimate team. They've bought their end game team. They're going to go play something else or they're just going to hop off the game because maybe they're just their desire and the hype has really run out for the game. Uh, so you're going to see cards on the market get a little bit more rare, which makes it better for trading if you're trying to make some coins, but it also makes prices go up if there's nothing uh, to bring people back on the game that they would have to sell cards for in order to do whatever the new content is on FIFA Ultimate Team. So what I would say to you is just, just hang tight if you're looking to buy some cards. The next 24 to 36 hours should give you a chance. And if you're hitting these upgrades, some people have told me they're okay, but honestly, if you really wanted to do upgrades this week, I was looking forward to doing some of them. I'm just kind of bummed at the requirements that this that these came out with today because it just does not make me want to grind the menus in this game. I will still be doing some of these just because I've got coins left over and I would love to maybe get super duper lucky and hit somebody else from Ultimate Tots. That would be cool. Um, but I don't think I'm going to go that hard on these upgrades because there's just no, there's no real drive for me to do it with the requirements that this SBC does cost to do it so that's the video for today boys if you enjoyed it smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out